Hello, this is the first video in a part of a video series where I want to talk about the NIME analytics platform, specifically this NIME analytics platform. The NIME analytics platform is a great software which can be used to do data analysis, data mining, any kind of data science related activities and also a day-to-day uh, data operations that probably a business analyst or any kind of an analyst would probably need to do on a daily basis and I'm sure that uh, at this point you're probably using Excel to do all these operations and the benefit of using NIME for these operations is that you're going to be able to sequence a series of operations and you're going to be able to automate them after setting up the series and you'll also be able to hand over this workflow, this series of operations, which in the NIME analytics platform is called a workflow. You'll be able to hand over this workflow to your colleagues so they can perform these workflows on their own without the need for them to reinvent and redo the whole process themselves. So you can do many operations like joining tables, extracting data, splitting columns, removing duplicates, and looking up values, making pivot tables, and many such operations. In today's example, we're gonna be looking at performing a series of operations. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at splitting a column into multiple columns, picking a few of those columns, merging them back again, and then removing duplicates, and finally exporting the data into an Excel file. So let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you these, how to do this in the NIME Analytics platform. Let's now look at the problem statement, what we are trying to solve here. The first thing that we're trying to do in today's exercise is assuming that we have some data like this on the left that you see on the left hand side. You have product name and you have SKU number. The product name consists of the AM, the brand name, followed by the three colors that are part of this particular product, followed by a hyphen, and then the rough dimensions of the product. In this case, let's assume that this is a, a mat or an area rug that goes on a floor and the dimensions of this area rug are 16 feet by 8 feet, you know, and so on and so forth. And there are multiple products and the products are uh, named starting with the brand name and then the three colors that make up the main colors on the product. The goal is to take this data and take the product name, extract the brand followed by the three colors from the product name and get it to a state that looks like this. These can then be used for any purpose that is required. So let's take a brief look at how the data is. The our input data consists of 30 products and these 30 products have the brand name followed by the three colors that make up the product followed by a hyphen and the dimensions of the product. On this column we have the SKU number and the goal is to get the outputs, the final output to look like this, the brand name followed by the three colors of the product and this extraction is only 24 lines. That's because we have removed duplicates from it. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this can be done in the NIME analytics platform. I'm going to switch over to the NIME analytics platform. So for those of you who are new to the NIME Analytics platform, 
This is how the interface of the NIME Analytics platform looks like. And NIME is available for free to download for both Windows as well as Mac OS and Linux as well. A workflow that does all these operations will look like this on the workflow builder. So you have the series of operations that perform all these steps and it will look like this. And this is the final output that generates the Excel file. Now let's take a look and build this by ourselves again on a fresh workflow. So the way you would go ahead and build a fresh workflow is you click on this button and select the type as new name workflow. Click next and provide a name for this project. In this case, I'm going to call it extract feature values. The destination of the workflow, workflow can also be selected. In this case, I've left it to my default workspace location. I'll click on finish. Let's now build the workflow. The first step that we're going to do is read in the CSV file. And the way you can do that is by bringing in either the file reader or the CSV reader. Today, we're going to use the CSV reader. So I'm going to click on the CSV reader and drag it onto my workflow. Now, because the CSV reader node is unconfigured, you see that you see there's no settings available indicator here. I'm going to right click on the CSV reader, select configure and select the file that I want to use for this particular workflow. I'm going to select the file product name.csv and click choose. I want my C column delimiter to be a comma and I want to unselect this has row header checkbox because the first column of my file is not a header column. Click OK. Now the file is configured and it is ready to be executed. So I'm going to right click again and click on execute. And you'll see that the file here has been read. So Nime, the CS reader through Nime has read the file and you can see that the file has 29 rows. and has the product name and the SKU number column. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split the column using a split function called the cell splitter. I'm going to drag that onto the workflow, connect my CSV reader to the cell splitter node, and you'll see the cell splitter now is awaiting the settings. I'm going to right click, select configure, choose the column on which I want to operate as the product name column and specify the delimiter as hyphen. That's all the settings that I need at this point. And the output will be as new columns. Click OK. And you can execute the cell splitter node. So now you'll see that the cell splitter node has performed its job and it has split the product name column into two columns. The first one has got the brand name and the three colors and the second column has got the dimensions that was in the product name. The next step 
that I'm going to do is to remove any blank spaces from the product name array zero column. In order to achieve that, we are going to use the string manipulation node. So I can type in string here and pick the string manipulation or I can pick the string manipulation node from the workflow coach. Let me drag that to my workflow and connect the search return to the string manipulation node. I'm going to right click, click configure. I'm going to select the remove cars function. I'm going to double click to use it. And here I'm going to double click on the column name so that gets introduced into my expression. So my expression is remove cars for and then within, within the brackets I have the product name array zero column. And the output column, there is an option here to specify the output column. I'm going to choose the append column option and specify the final output as feature value. I'm going to click OK and execute this string manipulation node. So this node is executed and I get my new feature value column here with all the spaces removed from the product name array zero column. The next step that I want to perform is to select just the feature value column to be in my output. In order to do that, I'm going to search for a filter, which is called a column filter. I found the column filter, I'm going to drag it onto the workflow and I'm connecting the string manipulation to the column filter. Right click on the column filter, select configure and here I can select the columns that I want in my output. In order to do that, I'm going to first remove all the columns from my include section and select only the feature value column and add it to my include section. I'm going to click OK and execute it. And you'll see now that the output is only the feature value column. Now before we export this out, there's one more operation that I want to perform, which is remove duplicates. And the way to do that is to use the duplicate row filter node. Let me drag that onto the workflow and connect the column filter to the duplicate row filter. I'm going to right click again, click configure and select the column on which the duplicates removal is to be done. Click OK and execute it. At this point, if you look at the column filter node, you'll see that the number of rows in my output is 29. But after, the num after I run the duplicate row filter node, the number of rows in my output is 24, where all the duplicate feature values in the feature value column have been removed. The final step is to export this out into an Excel file. 
in order to do that i'm going to look for writer and i'm going to select the excel writer node and drag that onto my workflow now i'll connect the duplicate row filter to my excel writer and i click on it click configure and here i can specify the location where i want the file to be written and i'm going to select a location and say that feature values dot xlsx as the file output file name click on save and i'm going to leave the default settings as they are at this stage you can also select columns that you want in the output but since my output only has got this feature value column i'm going to leave it as is and click okay now i'm going to click execute and this node has been executed now if i go and look at my folder where i saved the file you will see the feature values excel file and you can load that in an excel file in microsoft excel and you'll see the output the way you expected before starting this exercise so that is an example of a simple nine workflow that can be used to extract data from a file that you may have the next step is to save this workflow file save and this workflow is saved and this workflow can now be shared with anyone by sending the the workflow file that concludes our video i hope you found this useful thank you until next time